All right, welcome everybody. Happy Thursday. You are awesome. Let's try that again. Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Excellent. Well, the good news is the bands are super excited to play for you and they're super ready. The bad news is I did break my knee. It was not from the podium collapsing. If you were here at the last concert, the podium collapsed on me. That was not it. I tripped up the stairs and just landed hard. But I have to say, your children are the most compassionate people in the world. You should be super proud. It happened during concert band rehearsal two weeks ago, and the kids were silent. They were like, oh. and Mrs. Bowering, are you okay? Mrs. Bowering, can I get you an ice pack? Mrs. Bowering, can we help you? Can we? And they were so good. And still, every day, they're like, how's your leg doing? How are you feeling? Can we help you? They're wonderful. So you should give them a round of applause and really be proud of them. Um, I don't usually sit during my concerts, but in order to keep my stability so I don't fall again, I'm going to be sitting. I hope that's okay with you. Cadet Band is going to begin, and we'll start with Triumph and Glory. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, forgive me for keeping my back to you while I talk, but this is just easier. Um, I just wanted to point out the soloist at the beginning and at the end of that was Gianna Bodizadu. I did not include her name in the program, but applaud her, please. She deserves it. Thank you so very much. We will conclude our portion of this concert with antagonists.
I almost broke the microphone, I think. All right, folks, the group in front of you is the golf concert band. And cadet band, you're going to now be awesome role models as how audience members should be. Right? Yes, Mrs. Bowering. Excellent. Before we begin, uh, I just have to thank a couple of people because we have several people out sick today and those are pretty important holes that needed to be filled. So first I'd like to thank Mrs. Novak for coming and playing trumpet for us. Thank you, Mrs. Novak. I'd like to thank Mrs. Carey for coming to help some of our students back here. And last but not least, my husband came to help us out with low brass. He's back here on trombone. We are a family of musicians, absolutely. All right, so boys and girls, thank you. Okay, so the first piece we're gonna play is titled A Plus March. You know from having been in school and seeing your children go through school that an A plus is usually 98%, one or two things wrong, right? Say yes, yes. Well, you're gonna hear soon that in an effort like band, one or two things wrong per person can be disastrous. We're gonna play this twice for you, and the first time we'll play it correctly, which means they are not allowed any errors. Did you hear that? And then we're gonna stop and we're gonna allow them each one mistake intentionally. And you'll hear what a difference that makes.
All right, the percussion have a lot to do on this Dragon Lord song, and while they set up, I did want to acknowledge Noah Mintu on piano for that song. Thank you, Noah. Just had to test our sound level. Okay, while jazz band takes the stage, I wanted to acknowledge on our Dragon Roar, we had Sarah Parambin, and on Mallets up there, we had Isabella Choi. Thank you both of them for coming in to help with that.
Okay, I think jazz band is just about ready to start. Thank you for your patience. We're going to begin with a tune called Jada, which is a very fun swing tune. And it's going to feature soloists today, uh, Myla Larissa on tenor sax and Daniel Pufasro on alto sax. Thank you. Daniel, by the way, is filling in for a trumpet player that is not here. So on the spot, day of, great job. Thank you.
Many of you may remember, if you are my generation or before, uh, an old TV show, show called Peter Don. This is the theme from that. Sort of also has Blues Brothers vibes. Thank you all for coming. A quick announcement, no rehearsal tomorrow morning. And students that have begged, I'm so sorry, no listening party tomorrow. I need to be off my feet for just a little bit longer. And I tried to get in touch with the Duncan Baskin folks and they did not get back to me. So while we don't have a fundraiser going on tonight, if people want to congregate there, I'm not opposed to saying hello to everybody. So have a wonderful evening.